Hi there, I'm at Tomatus Creek in uh, northeast Queensland, just north of Cairns. Um, and I'm here to have a look at the, uh, the, the estuarine environment, but also to just uh, discuss a, a project which I undertook here uh, just over 10 years ago. Now, I first came to this spot in 1998, uh, which is on the banks of the Tomatus Creek. And here um, I found just behind the fringing mangroves, uh, which you can see the trees behind me, with the water in the distance. Um, that's the tidal creek. We have this, this, this line of mangroves just uh, on the banks of the creek. But behind it, um, we found this grassy platform, which you, which you can just about still see a remnant of. It was much more extensive when I came here in 1998. And this is a, um, a, a salt marsh environment. Uh, you can see that the surface uh, is actively dip depositing through tidal inundation on high tides and there is driftwood and so on and you get storms up here as well although it is protected it's on the the back side of a, of a barrier that's open to the sea um, and I collected sediment from this salt marsh environment uh, for analysis uh, um, mi for microfossils, micropaleontological analysis particularly looking for foraminifera which is these single-celled uh, organisms and within this salt marsh environment, I found a fauna that was very similar to uh, faunas found elsewhere in the world, in that it contains a lot of agglutinating foraminifera, or arenaceous foraminifera. These are the species that uh, build up their little shells, their tests, by gluing together bits of detritus, mud, uh, organic matter, and so on. And the species I found dominating this salt marsh is one called Trochamina inflata. But as I sampled down into the, um, the tidal creek itself, uh, onto the mud flats and sand flats down there. That fauna changed from one being dominated by the agglutinating species to one being dominated by more calcareous species. Um, they're, they're, they look white rather than brown. Uh, and species such as uh, Hainzina uh, and uh, Ammonia uh, were, were found down there. And what that indicates is a, is a zonation of foraminifera from the salt marsh down into mudflats and sandflats. And this is a zon zonation that uh, we have found uh, right across the world. Other colleagues uh, working on foraminifera have found them from Canada, uh, right around the Pacific, the Atlantic, uh, in, in the Indian Ocean, and uh, here uh, in Australia. So it's quite a fascinating little study showing um, how little microorganisms, these foraminifera, um, are very sensitive to the tidal inundations and the different environmental parameters that uh, exist at each of these altitudinally restricted uh, areas. You know, the salt marsh here, which is quite high in the tidal frame, going down into the salt sand flats and mud flats down there. So, um, quite an interesting study, and it was published eventually in 2001 in Australian Geographical Studies. Uh, so, that paper can be looked at, um, and it relates to this particular site.